you're chugging along with me Tim and I'm Sam so yeah thank you very much for joining us for another video so we've had a week off it's been locked down so that means that we can only go out for essential exercise and we're not able to cruise but we think we found a solution to that another thing to mention is we want to give a shout out to Sarah Matthews who is mm. a new boater who was inspired by chugging along videos which is so cool to hear and uh, that request was from your mate Stephen so good luck on the waterway Sarah. Luck, Sarah and uh, yeah keep chugging <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you are new to the channel, please consider chug scribing and becoming a chugger lover. Also, we want to say thank you to Eddie Mook, or is it Eddie Mac? Might be even Eddie MC. I don't know if you're a rapper, but for <laughs> coining that phrase, chug scribe. <laughs> Excellent. And also, we want to say that um, we've actually got paypal set up and the way this actually came about was quite interesting for us so we received recently a donation from one of our um, chugger lovers we know that you're all very keen to support us on our journey with what we're doing and we received this donation which was quite interesting for us because we actually didn't even have a paypal set up at the time so we had to set up <laughs> our paypal to accept the payment and we're very grateful and thankful for that so um if you would like to support us um on this channel with what we do and you'd like to help uh, pay a small contribution to top up our glasses of sherry then we actually have got our PayPal link in the description below. So Tim what's today's video about? Well today's video is quite a special video and it will actually include the first ever chugging mm. along interview ah. which is quite exciting. Today's video which you may have seen from the title is about narrow boat simulator was which is exactly what it said it is. It is a video game where you can simulate driving and cruising on a narrow boat. So it's a completely free application. It's on Android and also you can get it for PC and Mac as well. So I've seen you play it quite a few times and the amount of detail that goes into the game to ensure that actually recreates what you would experience whilst on the canal. So there's going through swing bridges and going through locks and also learning how to moor and also having your narrow boat and the features that you would have on a narrow boat so i think there's a lot of commitment there to actually recreating that i've actually uh, completed the game <laughs> already because i was having such good fun sat down in lockdown playing it and mm -hmm. it is incredibly realistic i think mm -hmm. the skills that i've learned from cruising on the boat definitely transfers to the game which was in incredibly interesting ah see that's good to know i mean for me i haven't actually played the game yet so it will be quite interesting for me because I, I I suppose part of the beauty of being on the canals continuously cruising in winter was that we thought we'd have the opportunity to move around a lot more whilst it would be quieter and I thought that would give me the opportunity to practice steering the boat a lot more but unfortunately with lockdown that's not been the case so I'm going to use this opportunity to try and um, I wouldn't say hone my skills more just to try and <laughs> get, get used to steering yeah, so I suppose can this playing game... a narrow boat simulator <laughs> so can I actually uh, can I actually learn how to steer Mariel just from playing narrow boat simulator you will see we'll in see. this video yeah wow we'll see. Before Sam does her virtual Hellman's course, <laughs> we're going to go over to the interview now where we spoke to the creator of Narrowboat Simulator, Michael Donning. Yes, hello. Um, I'm Michael Donning and uh, I'm the developer of the game and simulator, how you like, uh, Narrowboat Simulator. And uh, uh, my uh, normal job is not game developer, but... Um, I'm a computer programmer, or a server maintenance guy, and so on. So all the boring things you can think of, <laughs> computers. I wish you mentioned that you're from Germany as well, right? Yeah. Yes, right. Um, I'm sitting here um, next to the river Elbe. Um, ah. And uh, because it's winter, there are no leaves on the trees. And I can see a bit of it. <laughs> so uh, it's close to Hamburg. Ah, right okay. okay so what gave you this interest into you know british narrow boats then hmm. yes um that has been uh, three years ago um uh, and i was looking for something to do with uh, three kids and, and hotel rooms uh, were expensive and we 
might have uh, needed uh, multiple for three kids and two um, um, grown-ups. So um, I had the idea to look for boating holidays and uh, you can do that in the Mediterranean. You need a license for that. Or you can do that in the Netherlands and France mm -hmm. and in Germany as well. And uh, mm -hmm. then I, I looked for England and I saw those narrow boats and uh, I have seen the narrow boats, a narrow boat some, some years ago in the television. And I thought, um, well, um, that time 10 years ago, or, or however, I said, one day you have to look inside because there's something about it. We did uh, travel um, two times with the narrow boat. And the first time has been on the Grand Union and uh, we uh, traveled 2017 from um, Lake Buzzard to Bronson and back. Right. Oh, yeah. right. Okay. This was one week. You, so you see, uh, it's not impossible, but it's higher boat speeding. <laughs> what <Yes>. you probably <laughs> live about wouldn't do. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but <Maybe more. laughs> we, we did enjoy it very much. Yes. Yeah. Uh, even the family, the kids and so on uh, enjoyed it helping and do a bit of small talk in the locks. And, mm -hmm. uh, and this, we did it also a second time, uh, 2019. Uh, and it was uh, on the started on the Shroppy, um, oh, right. uh, okay. Chess Harden boats, um, and uh, we went on the Lagoche. Na naturally, that's standard standard for foreign uh, higher boaters. I enjoyed it very much. I have to say yes. So obviously, there's a big difference between going on a narrow boat holiday and enjoying it, mm. and then go liking it so much you've decided to create a computerized <laughs> simulation of the game. Mm. So uh, yeah, why did you want to create a simulator, and uh, have you ever made a game before? Mm. Uh, yes. So it has been a very long time that I, I maybe 30 years I didn't uh, do a, a game so that was in the early days of computing maybe <laughs> <laughs> so some not very um so in these days I, I, I it's, it's much easier to, to publish a game and so on and mm -hmm. uh, beat for money or not um and um the reason why I did this was just uh, so um Awaiting the holidays, uh, I was uh, in preparation. I thought I just might might try out some simulator, how such a boat handles. And yes, I found boating simulators, but not narrow boat simulators. There weren't any. It really is a simulator of of. It feels like you are cruising on a narrow mm. boat. Was that difficult to to get that right? Uh, um, yes, it was a little bit difficult. It was difficult to simplify the physics so that is, it became manageable for my limited mind. <laughs> and also um, for the uh, computer processors. So um, there, uh, the physics uh, which I used improved over the time, but the first and most important part, which can still be improved, I have to admit, um, is how just a boat moves and and uh, how it works with the powers that are there so 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 you got powers from the engine propeller naturally mm -hmm. you got a power from uh, somehow diverted by the tiller and the rudder on, on it on the base do, do you think that this simulator is an effective way for somebody to um, build their confidence mm -hmm. as a as a captain of a narrow boat um, yes, I, I think many things you can learn just from from reading, like operating the locks, or you can watch uh, videos, um, yes. uh, which many people do, and which is great, and which I mm -hmm. also use sometimes as an idea how to steer and how the boat mm -hmm. could react. Oh, um, okay. What I also think is that many people um, who have um, thought about boating holidays might get um, the kick for hiring a boat. Yes, ah, yes. That's true, actually. Yeah. What parts of the game are based on reality and based parts of the real system? And is there any parts that are completely made up? Mm. Yes. So uh, as I uh, did the first uh, things on the game, uh, I uh, made, them, uh, made them up mostly. So just tutorial pond, it's clear and, and drifting badger marina. Um, has been kind of inspired uh, by some 
part of a marina in New mm -hmm. Bronson, I think, but only a part. Mm -hmm. It's very small. And I added here and there some, some material that I photographed um, in the game, such as Lockkeeper's House or um, also the, um, the junction near Bronson, which is a triangle. And yeah. Yeah. Where you could do, uh, which I actually did, um, those uh, the three-way uh, three um, uh, windings. So I added the Langochlin um area and uh, that was uh, uh, that was uh, after some uh, laser scanning done by right. whales mm. yes. so you call the the technical term is lidar i think um, okay. don't ask me how it's <laughs> how the words are but it's, yeah. it's laser scanning and you get uh, one roughly in this case one by one meter you get the height and so you know okay um where's the terrain but the future update so you're gonna do yeah, yeah the more of the clinglockland into the town and um how about any other canals yes um naturally um uh, yes uh, canals canals buildings um uh, uh, like that um also the wheel called in scotland um oh, Falkirk. Oh, yeah, yeah. Falkirk, Falkirk. Yeah. Oh, wanted to say falcon wheel sorry <laughs> yes <laughs> those are interesting or also inclined mm -hmm. planes which do don't exist anymore um mm -hmm. or um just um, um in, in, in the, the 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 boat lift um Anderton, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, those things are interesting but uh, also some work and uh However, um, I have to start somewhere and uh, it's um for now it's um it's uh, completing Langochlin finally, mm -hmm. uh, not completing, it's not the whole canal. Um, and uh, and then um, I'll be um, looking for um, the, um, what's called, Ribbling, yes. Um, oh, oh, the Ribbling, well, um, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, something completely different and, and because rivers in that way didn't exist in the game and um, mm -hmm. It will be in tidal rivers, especially, and uh, yeah. mm -hmm. hitting hitting the lock uh, might be different. <laughs> yes, um, and, and and it's just because I'm lazy because um, the river link is, is is vast and it's it's many kilometers, and I have to look how to squeeze it into the game. But um, it doesn't have that much buildings. I hope directly in view. So uh, uh, the most much work is uh, adding trees and and uh, bridges especially oh, really interesting oh, okay what is your favorite kind of narrow boat in the game that you can play with do you think okay um so it might not be the rubber duck no no <laughs> <laughs> um i i go with the older one yes so because of the nice sounds and the yes. uh, the smoke and so on and this is uh, the most um I'd say beautiful boat. Yeah. Wow. Do you think that you, I, yeah, you could live on a narrow boat yourself full time like we do? Yeah. Um, while doing the holiday, we thought about it. Yes, I'm not, <laughs> not, uh, not that far, but um, we also saw family going on on one boat and and with kids on in a buddy. Yeah. So you oh, got enough room for the kids. So mm -hmm. if you. It's it's it might be a, di a bit difficult to 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 live on a mm -hmm. fifty six feet uh, boat uh, with family of three. Uh, yeah. Okay. If you look at the past, you see they could do with even less. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but um, yes, and I no, it's it's become a little bit more difficult because of Brexit. Um, um, yeah. we, we, it's not as simple and. Um, but who knows? Maybe we meet some uh, in ten years. Kids <laughs> 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 have left home, and we have some room. Maybe Michael, yeah. For anyone watching this video, how can they play this game, Narrowboat Simulator? Mm. Yes, um, the game um, is out. Is available for naturally Android. So. Uh, I would recommend using a bigger phone or an, a tablet computer for that. A tablet for that. Uh, you can also play it on Windows. Um, there's a version downloadable on on the website, the Google website, um, and uh, then there's a version for Linux. And 
maybe there is a version for Mac OS, but I can't tell actually if it works at the moment, perhaps if someone speaks up um, that it doesn't work, I have to put uh, some corrections in it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. Um, so, and what's coming up, uh, which I said before, uh, will be in some time uh, if I get it working and through the quality assurance of Apple um, is uh, the iOS version. Thank you for speaking to us, Michael. Yeah, mm -hmm. We uh, wish you luck with the project yes. and we're going to yeah, keep, keep playing it and Same looking for mm -hmm. updates. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, of course, if you see us on the canal, please come and say hello. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I'll take you for your word <laughs> if I manage it to get somehow over there, <laughs> but no, not yet. But in the future, yes, I would lay away very much like it. Yes. Okay, great. Thanks okay, that. thanks, Michael, and uh, thank have a great you again. Yeah. Take care. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye. So it looks like I've got to get the boat, it says out of the marina, so I'm guessing the boat is in the marina there and I've just got to turn it out. I've got to turn it left uh, to exit the marina. Okay, so let's get on board. And let's, let's untie the boat. Okay, so now we've untied the boat. So we have to go straight and then make a left turn. So, right, let's get the gear going. Let's get the engine going. And we're gonna go forwards. And then I've got to get ready to turn the boat left. So going right with the tiller bar. I have to go back a bit. Might reverse just a little bit, just to give enough space. Oh, go on, turn left, turn left. There we are. Give it a bit more welly. I'm just going straight through and hopefully I can get out of the, out of the marina. Is it going to work? Yay, level complete. Took a, it was a bit iffy but I managed to do it which is okay. So um, yeah, got out of the marina, all right, that's good. It's not going to be, I've got to make sure my starboard side is on the bank. So um, yeah. Wish me luck. Here we go. Mm hmm. Okay, right. So I'm going forward. Oh, rookie error. First things first, take off my mooring pins. <laughs> there we go. Right. Now we can go. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm just going straight on at this point. Then chug along at a snail's pace. Ooh, I'm looking quite close to this boat. But I don't think I've hit the boat. And they don't seem angry, so I think I've done all right going past them. <laughs> okay, just carry on. So I've just operated the lift bridge, so now I'm going through the lift bridge. Ooh. There we are. Get the stern into this point, start to reverse so I can slow it down a bit. There we go. Right, okay, so she's turning, she's turning, she's turning. But I have to go forward a little bit more just to get her to turn a bit more right. It's almost like a pivot. <laughs> so she's sort of pivoting around. Yeah, she's 
and oh, I think that's my friend. There's a lady standing up. Well, there's a lady sitting down with a green t-shirt. I wonder if she's my friend. Ah, I got it. I can see now. I can see where my friend is. So I have to reverse back quite a bit more actually. Ooh. Unfortunately, I'm going <laughs> to hit the back of the boat, but that's that's fine. That's to be expected. There we are, straighten it up. And let's see if I can reverse back slowly towards my friend. I think that's him there. Oh, yeah, perfect. Let's moor our boat up. And there we are, level complete got there in the end that was all right um, I didn't get much bad karma I didn't get I didn't uh, have any collisions I didn't have any speeding so I haven't got any uh, bad karma points but too much navigating I think because I was trying to work out where my friend was and I couldn't really see where they were I think um, what I will do is definitely play this a bit more just to get used to the right and left situation because that's something that I've got to get used to and then after that then yeah I definitely would like to practice trying to drive Mary out when we can thanks very much guys for watching today's video we hope you enjoyed watching me take on my virtual helmsman course and also our interview with Michael Donning as well and if you have any questions or if you have any video suggestions or any shout outs then please leave them in the comments section below yeah thank you very much again guys and remember <laughs> no matter what you do in life you've got to keep chugging